let's talk about study Bibles and two of the best study Bibles that are available today. I've had a couple of people recently ask me for a recommendation of a good study Bible. So let's just start by going back a bit and just talking about study Bibles in general, and then we'll get to the two that I would recommend above all others. Let's go right back to 1909. The Schofield Reference Bible was published back in 1909 and then again in 1917 and it's been described as one of the most influential theological works of the 20th century. It was different because it's got um, chain references, it's got notes down the bottom and it just gives people something extra to read when they're studying the Bible. The downside with this kind of study Bible is that you're primarily getting the notes of one person, so you're getting one person's perspective. So some of the new Newer study Bibles have moved away from that and gone with a multiple scholar approach, which I personally believe has really distinct advantages. For myself personally, the second study Bible I, I came across was the Ryrie Study Bible. Now this was released back in 1978 and it has sold 2.6 million copies. Charles Ryrie was a professor of systematic theology at Dallas Theological Seminary. And so good study Bible, but compared to the newer study Bibles, you'll find that the notes uh, were quite brief. Some of the newer study Bibles have a lot more extensive notes. Here are some other study Bibles. I'll share my personal perspective because there's one study Bible I used for 21 years and still have it here in our lounge room. That's the Believer's Study Bible. And this one does have a multi-scholar approach. You'll notice there that the study notes, there are quite a few contributors, and the study Bible is edited by Walter Chris, or well known as a long-serving pastor of First Baptist Church in Dallas. And this one was published in 1991, so I found this to be an excellent study Bible. Then you've got the very popular Life Application Study Bible, and the complete Jewish study Bible, as the uh, title implies, it gives you specific insights from a Jewish background and Jewish culture, and the Jeremiah Study Bible. Now that one just is similar to a number of study Bibles like the MacArthur Study Bible and Chuck Swindoll Study Bible, where you have one author and you're getting his notes. Now that uh, has its downside in that you're just getting one perspective. It has its positives, for example, if you're studying the book of Revelation and you just want to look at a pre-millennial perspective from an author who's pre-millennial, then it's um, advantageous to use, for example, the Jeremiah Study Bible or the MacArthur Study Bible. But now let's look at the two study Bibles I would personally recommend above all others. And the advantage of these two, well, there's a number, but let's just think about a couple of advantages. The first one is they both take a multi-scholar approach. The two study Bibles I'm referring to are the ESV Study Bible and the Biblical Theology Study Bible. Let's start with the ESV Study Bible. This was published by Crossway in 2008. The general editor is Wayne Grudem, who's well known for his excellent systematic theology. The New Testament editor is Thomas Schreiner, who's written a well-known commentary on the Book of Romans. This Bible is really well laid out. If we want to have a look, for example, at Luke's Gospel, uh, there's quite a decent introduction there as to who the author was and the date. There's a map there for the setting of Luke's Gospel. We just keep going through, and there's a cutaway of Herod's Temple in the time of Jesus. There's a generous amount of notes at the bottom of the page. That's really, really useful. Some of the older study Bibles were quite thin on notes because uh, that's what was probably expected at the time but the expectations are certainly higher now and uh, they are a lot more generous the good study bibles with a lot of notes down the bottom of the page to help us understand the biblical text so i would heartily recommend the esv study bible the next study bible i'd rank really up there as one of the top two is the Biblical Theology Study Bible. The difference with this one, it is based on the NIV, so if you prefer to use the NIV, you may wanna go this way. Even if you use another translation, this is still a great standalone study Bible to have. The quality of the notes and the amount of the notes really is quite exceptional. It is up there with the ESV Study Bible. Let's have a quick look. Let's go over to 2 Thessalonians. So you can see there, 
There's more colour in the Biblical Theology Study Bible. They've really laid it out beautifully. It has a bit more colour than the ESV. And uh, we'll just go through there. A very generous, uh, well, there's the introduction first, but then a very generous amount of notes. There's only 11 verses there recorded in the first chapter and a lot of notes down the bottom. And a distinctive feature is the way they have coloured the notes in boxes. So it's very attractive to the eye. Again, it's the multi-scholar approach. In fact, we find on the front cover that there are 65 contributors to this study Bible. The general editor of this study Bible is D.A. Carson, who's well known as a New Testament scholar. He has co-written with Douglas Moo, an introduction to the New Testament. He's also written a commentary on John's Gospel. And the quality of the notes, not just the quantity of the notes, the quality of the notes is very good. And again, if we go over to look at who wrote the notes on each uh, book of the Bible, there's quite an array of scholars there writing in their area of specialty. And the quality of the notes, not just the quantity of the notes, the quality of the notes is very good. So out of the two, it's not easy. Which is the best, the Biblical Theology Study Bible or the ESV Study Bible? Personally, because I prefer the ESV as a translation, for someone wanting to do serious Bible study, if you can only purchase one and, and you like to use the ESV, I would recommend the ESV Study Bible. If you use the NIV and that's your default translation that you like to use and you're accustomed to that, then I would certainly, without hesitation, recommend the Biblical Theology Study Bible. So I'd encourage you, if you've never invested, to seriously consider investing in a really good study Bible to enhance your knowledge of God's Word.